the easiest way to envision what we do here is we're a precious metal recycling company. We take various byproducts from industrial or jewelry applications and we upgrade that into a high purity gold, silver, platinum, palladium form. We take in materials, we upgrade them and charge the customer a fee for the upgrading process or recycling process. Just about any type of electronics component you can think of, from cell phones to MP3 players, to navigation units, computers themselves, laptop computers. If you actually took the lid off, you'll see little bits of gold plate in there. We would typically handle thousands of pounds of material coming through. Right now, you have a cyanide solution in there that's, in effect, stripping the gold off the gold metal pots. So you now have a gold salt that's effectively dissolved into the gold cyanide solution. Now, in a given year, we're refining somewhere between 150 to 200,000 ounces equivalent of gold. That breaks down into many different industries. A lot of what you saw today is we're heavily industrial focused. But we do a lot of the typical jewelry refining that you see as well. All the different industrial byproducts that you saw today, that makes up a heart of what we do. This is an example of some of our industrial waste. These are rack pins used in the plating process. These are actually digesting right before your eyes. So within, uh, within a few minutes, most of this metal will be gone. Once all the metal is dissolved, we'll use a series of chemicals to drop the gold out of the solution batch like this is roughly six or seven hundred gallons could contain 250 to 500 ounces of gold this looks like a dried out riverbed but in actuality this is gold mud that can run anywhere from 60 to 75 percent gold by weight we've seen double digit growth over the last eight to ten years the amount of volume that's been coming through has just been phenomenal, especially with the higher prices today. Really, anything that comes in contact with gold is a, is a room for it to be recycled over here. This is an example of some filters that have come in from, um, from our customers. These will get loaded into the incinerator. They'll burn for a 10 to 12 hour cycle. Any gold, platinum, palladium, or anything that's used in the process that gets trapped in these filters will be incinerated into a fine ash. Now it'll sift through the vibratory sifter through a 70 mesh screen. At this point, all of the organics have been burned off through the incineration process. And what we're left with are base metals and precious metals. But it could range anywhere from two to 200 ounces typically per lot. We watch the price of gold on a daily basis. It does have a uh, dramatic impact on our business. As the underlying price of the commodity, whether it be gold, silver, platinum, palladium, as those pl prices rise, our overall profitability rises as well. Basically for us, anywhere north of five to $600 per ounce would probably be a good market for us. You know, north of $1,000 an ounce is excellent. Yeah, it's a good industry to be in, it is.